Welcome back to the Inspired Composites YouTube channel. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm going to be looking for suitable donor glasses that we can use on our G35 project car. How are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to take some of the profiles that we have drawn in, in our initial design. We're going to take the profile of the windshield. We'll take the profile of the door glass as well as the rear quarter glass. We're going to create cardboard templates out of them and then we'll take the templates to the junkyard and hopefully we can find some suitable glass that we can use. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna, we have to go in Rhino first. We're going to create the templates that we need and we're going to do that. All right, let's go. So here are the profiles of the glass and I'm just going to create some quick G code so that I can have the CNC machine trace them out onto cardboard. So what I have here is a Sharpie marker. I built up enough thickness around the Sharpie so that I can be able to slide it snugly in to my half inch collet. That works. So now we have our pen, Sharpie, and we can draw out our profile onto cardboard. And then our G code for the windshield. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It did it. Started. No! It seems to not have touched over here. Let's go ahead and bring it down a little bit more. We have our templates cut out now and we can take these we're going to go to the junkyard and find try to find some suitable donor glass that we can use on our project let me show you guys the windshield I have this one was actually for an Aventador kit the only problem I have with this and using this for the G35 is that at the top there's a very thick tint and if we use that for this car it may be really hard to see the traffic lights while you're driving and hopefully I can find a windshield like this one but if all else fails and we can't find a windshield we'll just use this one we already have it here in the shop and that will work for us as well so I'm gonna pack up this stuff we're gonna head to the junkyard and see what we can find good old pick and pull good old pick and pull How do we even start around here? You know what? Road 35 has Chrysler Seabrings. And that is the windshield that the Vader uses. So let's see what that how that matches up to our template. Well I think we already found something suitable. 
32 on the sides and then the top 48 here's this car and I think I found something decent for the side glass the contour at the top is fine actually the contour at the top matches pretty well so that's an option Oh yeah, and if you own the TC and are from the Chicagoland area, go ahead and visit our group on Facebook, Chicagoland TC. By the way, people are looking at me like I'm crazy over here. Look at this little gem. I think it's a Mazda. Look at this. Could you look at this? Are you kidding me? They don't make them like these anymore. Look at this. This is these are rocker switches, dude. They don't even let you have these in your car anymore. That's crazy. Here's another rocker switch. Oh my god. What the heck? Finally home. Just got back from the junkyard and I'll give you guys an update on what I found. So in terms of the windshield, uh, we have three options. First option is the windshield that I have in my garage. And the problem with that windshield is that I don't like the tint at the top of the windshield. It makes it look like it's from an old car, which it actually is. Second windshield that I found is, isn't that much better than the first one. Is pretty much almost the same thing has that heavy tint at the top third option is which I like the most would be a Saturn aura and the Saturn aura is nice because it's a little bit wider windshield it tapers at the top a lot more the thing that I like the most about the windshield is that it doesn't have a heavy tint it actually doesn't even have a tint at the top it has a a black frame around it and that's actually very nice because it makes the windshield look a little bit more modern. Most likely we're going to be using that so uh, in the future I will be buying that windshield and I will be putting it in CAD and making sure our model uh, fits that windshield. For the side glass which is the most important part I found two options that aren't the best so the first option is a Mitsubishi GS and the thing about that glass is the contour is correct at the top, but the rear corner at the top is rounded, and I don't like that look. And also, it's a little bit shorter. The angle of the edge is a little bit different from the G35. The second option is off of a Mustang Coupe, but it's probably most likely not going to be able to work. So those are the two glasses that I found for the side glass. The rear quarter glass, I didn't even try to look. From the cars that I've seen at the junkyard, there's probably nothing like that side glass. You know what it looks like? It looks like the 350Z side glass. And I might try that out. So after our visit today, I have a clearer picture of what I'm going to use. I think what's next is that I'm going to try to cut some test pieces of tempered glass to see if I can do it. Um, I'm not just going to do it. I have to do a little bit more research and see what actually is happening into that tempered glass to make it crack or shatter and then see what kind of techniques or methods I can use to actually cut it. But we're definitely going to try. So that's it for now. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time in the G35. I'm calling it the Super GTR or Super Car GT or Super Duper. Forget it, we'll figure it out later. Bye.